Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Ross, your instructor. Today we're going to learn how to copy data to the clipboard and paste it back again in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Myling in Palo Alto, California, one of my Platinum members. Myling says, I spent a lot of time copying and pasting customer name and address information from my Access database to either a spreadsheet, an email, a Word document, or my label writer. Is there any way you can set it up so that with one click, I can copy their entire name and address? Yes, of course, we can do this with a little bit of VBA code. Little bit of code. This is a developer video. Don't be scared, though. If you've never done any VBA programming before, don't worry. I got you covered. Go watch this video first. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. It's about 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you need to know to get started. And also, go watch my concatenation video. That's where you can put the values from two or more fields together into one string. Right, that's how we can put the name and the address fields all together. So go watch those and come on back. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. And here in the customer form, let's say I want to make a button. Let's just do one field first. Let's say I just want to copy the first name field to the Windows clipboard. How do we do that? Well, let's go to design view. I'm just going to copy one of these buttons here. Copy, paste. And let's put it down here in the box. And let's call this guy copy first name, copy FN. All right. And we'll make, we'll right click, go to properties. We'll make it called copy FN button BTN, right? Right click on it, go to build event. I know that was off your screen. Sorry. Right click build event. Okay. First thing you have to do, if you want to use the clipboard functions is that you have to go to that control. You have to set the focus on that control. Yeah, there's another command called go to control, but I like this one. First name dot set focus that says, hey, jump the cursor to the first name field. All right. And it should be highlighted all the data in that field. OK, now we're going to run a command that says copy. And it looks like this. Do command DOCMD dot run command space. There's a whole ton of commands in here you can run. The one you're looking for is ACCMD copy that guy. And yes, there's also cut and paste. All right. So it's going to go to the first name field. It's going to run the copy command and then the data should be in your clipboard. So let's come back out here, close it, close it, open it, click the button. Okay. And if you want to test it, I'll just click here in country and hit paste on my keyboard, control V paste. And there it is. Woo -hoo. Now you know how to use the clipboard. All right, what if you want to put a bunch of fields together and copy them all? I know exactly what you're talking about, Mailing. If you got a, you know, if you got an email you want to send and you want to say, hey, the customer's email address or the customer's address is blah, blah, blah. Then you don't want to sit here and have to copy this and copy that and copy that. You want to put it all together and just say go. I got the same, the same exact thing in my database. What we need though is another field to assemble everything. So I'll just take one of these other fields, copy, paste. We'll slide it over here. Okay, and we'll just make some room for it here. All right, let's open this guy up. Now, I don't want country in there, so we'll get rid of the control source. We don't want to have it bound to any field in our table, right? It's just an unbound box. And usually with unbound boxes, what I'll do is I'll make them gray or something like that. Just set them off a little bit. And let's give it a good name. What do you want to call it? Let's call it the copy block. All right the copy block. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some string concatenation and we're going to assemble the fields in this box the way we want to copy and paste them. You can do whatever you want. Let's copy this button, copy, paste. And this will be my copy. Let's call it address, ADDR. All right, give it a good name. Always give it a good name. Copy, ADDR, BTN. Right click, build event. Now this time first we have to assemble the Avengers. I mean, assemble the fields. <laughs> All right, little concatenation. Here we go. Copy block equals first name and a space and last name. Next line. Lines are going to be VB new line. That's a special character. It's actually two characters in access. But VB new line says, give me a, a, a next the next line. All right. And then a little line continuation character there. What's after that? Well, how about the address and VB new line, right? And then we got city and a space and state and a space, whoops, space and a zip code and VB new line. 
and then country if you got country on the bottom and there's your whole big address block right first name last name address another line city state zip another line country now that's all assembled in copy block now we can do the same stuff we did here just copy that paste it up there and instead of first name set focus we're going to copy block set focus okay copy hit a debug compile always good to do once in a while come back over here yeah. close this close this open her back up and copy it there it is oh i got richard in my country that's why we'll get rid of that but leave it i leave it blank for us hit it oh there it goes all right now i'm just going to test it let's open up notepad or whatever else you got to do where's my notepad there's, oops there's Okay, and paste. There it is. It's that easy, folks. Just build the way you want. Now, you might not want to see this guy lingering around here. If that's the case, you can make it invisible. But you got to briefly make it visible while you do the copy operation. So, for example, you could take this and you could set its visible property to no. All right, and if that's the case, what I usually do is I make them really tiny like that. Well, in this case, it might it might flash very briefly, so don't make it. I'm not going to make it red. Usually, what I'll do for hidden fields, things that are hidden all the time, I like to make them red and then hide them because you only see them in design view. Then I'll like stick it like maybe over the top of that one, because again, you won't see it when the forms open only in design view, and you will know it's there. But this guy might flash very briefly on the screen. So we're going to leave it there. But you could do something like this. You want to save space, right? Copy first name. Copy address, we'll stick this next to it, and then you can slide this up like that. Okay, now, if you just try to run this now, you're gonna get an error, look at that. Can't move control to the, can't move the focus to the control copy block, why? Because it's not visible. So what we can do is, right before we set focus, we say copy block dot visible equals true. I can't type today. All right, and let's back this guy up there indentation is important people not for access but for us all right and then when we're all done copying it we could do copy block dot visible equals false hide it again and then maybe give a beep to indicate to the user that hey i just did my job all right save it come back out here and now whoopsie oh you can't hide a control i forgot i forgot about that one too uh you can't hide it if it's got the focus so you got to put the focus back on the button let's say all right, so right here, we're going to say copy address button dot, uh, dot set focus. Forgot about that one. It's in my notes, too, and I still forgot about it. All right, ready? Close it, open it, copy, boop, and it's done. See how it displays itself briefly? Um, you could try turning. See, I don't like I don't like teaching people this one. This is a more advanced trick. All right, this is an advanced trick. Be careful with this. But what you can do also is you can say um, do command dot echo false. What that does, echo turns off the screen rights completely. So nothing, anything that access does is just hidden. You don't see anything. Okay. But the problem is, is if you have any error messages or anything else pops up in your database, you won't see it because the screen writing is off. All right. And don't forget to turn it back on down here. Okay, but if any of these commands generate an error, you're you're in trouble because you won't see it. Your application will look like it locked up. And I, I use this sparingly, but it's used for situations like this where you want to prevent some flashing on the screen. Ready? Let's try it. See, you didn't see anything flash. You didn't see, I don't know if the I don't know if the video recording software is picking that up or not. But now you can hit the button and it doesn't flash at all. Okay um that's pretty much it like i mentioned before there is also a cut there's also a paste operation so if you're copying stuff from other places let's say you want to like paste it into your notes field right let's do a paste button okay right click build event and we can go oh we didn't forgot to name our button see look at that command 34 click always give your buttons a good name trust me you'll thank me later i didn't used to name them my buddy alex talked me into it because I used to always just put like a, a comment up there, like this is the button for paste, but you better off just giving him a name, paste, button. All right, takes two seconds. I'm still not in the habit of doing it, and it's been years. 
Um, okay, so we're in the paste button. Same thing. We're going to set focus where we want to go. Notes dot set focus. And then we're going to paste. Do command dot run command. This whole list, this run command list, this is a, like backward compatibility with all the menu items that are in access. You can find a lot, most pretty much everything's in that list. ACCMD paste. All right, save it, close it, close it, open it. Now, if you go somewhere else, like let's go back out to uh, Notepad here. All right, and I'll, I think I still got, no, I don't have anything on my clipboard. Let me see. Uh, yeah, that's still on my clipboard. I got the little Windows clipboard manager going. Okay, so this is in like my, my uh, Notepad. Let me copy this. I'm, let's say I'm copying it out of an email or something, right? We can come in here and just hit paste. Boom, and it pastes it right in there. See that? Now, the set focus will normally overwrite what's in there. So if you want to append it to the end of that, all you gotta do is put the uh, the cursor at the end of it. How do you do that? Well, you go into here. Right here, after you set focus to it, you say notes.cellstart equals the length of notes. Cell start means the start of the selection. And if you don't specify a, a length of, of uh, because you could do cell start and cell length, Putting the cell start at a spot is where you want to start the selection. But basically, the length of notes is how long it is. So you're basically moving the cursor to the end. Okay? I covered these in a lot more detail in my other classes. This is, this is like bonus material, folks. This is, we, we already, we're already done. We're finished. I'm just going over some other cool stuff. All right? Save it. Let's throw in a debug compile. Come back out here. Now, this time, I want to, the paste button's going to append it on the end instead of overwriting what's in there. Ready? Click. Boom. Look at that. All right? And you can even check to see if this is null. And if, if so, you can put another a new line in there. So you end up with that. You get all kinds of stuff you could do with this. I could spend hours just doing cool stuff like this. <laughs> Speaking of spending hours doing cool stuff like this, if you like this stuff, if you enjoy my videos, if you like hanging out with me and learning how to do some cool VBA stuff, I got... I got dozens, maybe hundreds of hours of VBA and developer programming on my website. Uh, I just finished Developer 44. I didn't finish it. It's it's in progress. I just posted the first two lessons. That's all about customizing the ribbon, and we're gonna get into customizing, you know, right-click shortcut menus. And all kind. Of, this is I love this stuff. This is what I do. So this is like my passion. So I I, I would probably do this stuff even if it wasn't what I did for a living. But uh, if you want to learn with me, if you enjoy my style and you enjoy uh, uh, learning some access with me, check them out. There's my link right there. I'll put a link down below in the description you can click on. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something, my friends. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access, 
and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.